Hey, so what's going on guys? Me here with Drug Club Reviews and welcome back to another video. So, it's been a while since I actually did a case review but if you have been following the channel, you have known that the Catalyst Total Protection and basically the Catalyst cases in general is my go-to case and one of my favorite cases especially when it comes to waterproof cases. So that's what I have right in front here. So yeah, right off the bat, you can see mine is slightly different and I'll be showing you guys why. So if you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing and also ding the notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And of course, it helps me as an independent YouTube content creator. So it helps me make more videos and try out more cases and do more reviews for you guys. So without further ado, let's begin the unboxing and also review of the Catalyst Total Protection for the iPhone 13 series. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've actually installed it on my 13 mini. If you have been following my channel, I just got the iPhone 13 mini a couple of weeks back. And right off the bat, I knew that I had to get the Catalyst Total Protection because it was the best case that I used with my iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, of course, I do not have the case with me right now. I already sold it. But uh, the user experience, the whole uh, experience of using a waterproof case and all the downsides, I guess, of using a waterproof case is actually pretty much eliminated with this one. Uh, of course, no case is perfect. So I'll be talking about that in this video. But anyways, let's go through the packaging real quick. Let me grab the packaging. So I got it from a dealer called Forex Engineer. Uh, of course, I'm in Malaysia. So this costs around the ballpark of 349 ringgit, I guess. Uh, even after the discount voucher is almost like, what, 10%, something like that. But anyways, it's in the ballpark of 300 ringgit. So yeah, kind of expensive if you consider a case. But if you factor in that the official Apple leather case also costs like what? 219 to 269 ringgit this is uh not bad considering this has drop rated protection has waterproof protection and all that sort of stuff so especially if you guys who love outdoor activities this is the case for you and i can guarantee that because this is actually better than the life proof okay, so let's get back to the packaging you can see catalyst branding you can see there's also magsafe compatible yeah when it comes to magsafe compatible you're going to be thinking of magsafe charging not necessarily using the wallet the accessories with it uh, except for the massive charger so yeah that's something to bear in mind with yes it comes with a free lanyard which is inside the packaging so the best part of this case is that it is 33 feet waterproof and i think the only other case which uh, can compete with this is the ghost tech um, nautical if i'm not mistaken the nautical i've used it but yeah that is uh, not really a great product uh, when it comes especially to the camera department and the sound department so yeah but this checks all the boxes so you can see right here 33 feet waterproof you can see 500 percent more waterproof and all those stuff you can see right here basically what a waterproof case should be in fact you can actually take this diving because it's 33 feet waterproof right you can take it more than just swimming it is also 6.6 .6 feet drop proof okay so that's about it okay let's see what comes in the packaging so you have the top piece you also have the bottom piece of course this case is also screen protector compatible i should say but uh certain screen protectors if you're using something like uh, a 2.5d curved tempered glass or full coverage tempered glass uh, you're out of luck because i wouldn't even try to use this on inside the case because of just how thick those glass protectors are. if you're using something like a film film based screen protector you're not gonna have any you're gonna definitely have watermark issues because yeah, you can see this is also a plastic screen protector. So, um, I guess if you use the glass protectors, it should work because it is meant to go with this case. But personally, I wouldn't use any sort of screen protectors with a uh, waterproof case just because of um, my experience using a glass protector inside a waterproof case. Uh, it started leaking. So, I wouldn't try that again. But anyways, yeah, they, they show you that it's also screen protector compatible. Okay, so basically, that's about it. Okay, let's uh, just quickly open the package and see what it comes with. Okay, so inside, very easy, very simple packaging. Of course, you get a case right here, which I already have installed on my iPhone. You get a lanyard, which for some of you guys, yeah, that's a lifesaver sometimes, you know. Uh, and then you get additional pop protectors. This is actually very crucial and I give a big shout out to at least for actually including this because honestly 
this is the first thing to normally like break apart because of the number of times you have to take in uh, unless you use like MagSafe uh, with the MagSafe technology I don't think you actually have to open and close the pots that much okay so that's about it basically of course you do have to do a water test when you first uh, use this case or at least before you put your phone into this case you should do a water test which I've done and this case has passed it with no issues all right guys so let's take a look at the front of the case so many of you guys will be concerned about whether face id works uh but no worries face id works straight away you do not have to re-register your face you just snap on this case and you're good to go okay so the usual stuff you get uh of course a plastic screen protector and good thing about this plastic screen protector it doesn't degrade the screen that much okay so let's take a look at the side okay so right here we get this very nice toggle which I absolutely love see right here and just toggle mute and ring with no issues just twist it and you're good to go so you can get volume up and down you can see it works super clicky and responsive okay let's take a look at the right side we get catalyst branding see right here and also the the power button so the power button is similar to the volume up and down yeah, there's no issues right there okay so let's move on to the top nothing much okay and then the bottom this is where the pot protector is and of course the lanyard there is a lanyard hole right here which you can attach your lanyard to you in fact you have two one right here and one right here so you can attach like a neck strap if you are on the go like if you're traveling or something you do not want to keep things in your pocket you can just wear it on your neck so that's a great addition so the material everything feels really really sturdy i really do like the build quality but let's move on to the back so right here we have the optically clear lens protector so you have a covering for your microphone and i've never had issues in fact i was quite kind of worried actually when i saw something like this i expected something like a grill or something to actually protect the microphone on the back but yeah this film uh works perfectly so i never had any like muted or muffled calls so that was really really good and of course you have the flash yeah and then you can see the lens right here in fact for my testing of the 12 pro version of this case uh you do not have to worry about this scratching because it was actually pretty scratch resistant uh as compared with some of the competitors which use like a uv coating and then the coating starts to peel after a while but this doesn't have any of that issues so of course it's raised up as well so if you do drop it backside first you're not going to have any worries about breaking the glass so there's a small lip right here as well so attention to detail right here so you can see right here how the transparent or translucent back looks so i do have the blue iphone 13 mini so you can see right here the blue shining through and of course this is a tap to actually peel open the back which i'm not going to do because i do not want to get dust into the case uh, but the fitment everything was spot on uh, there were no like creaks you can feel there are like no creaks everything is super sturdy uh, in fact when i put my phone in this case i know that my phone is going to be super secure so on the back you can see this uh maxive ring right here so this is actually the mophie snap adapter which i actually use because i use the maxive battery pack and being maxive compatible isn't going to do the job well enough because actually the battery pack just kind of slides off still even though they have made the back plate slightly thinner uh, but of course having this uh, Mophie snap adapter just makes things a lot more secure especially when you're using like maxive in the car maxive charger in the car and stuff like that uh, yeah this is definitely something that you need to add of course a bit chunky uh, but well there's always a price to pay when you're using a case something like this and if you're talking about chunky i mean this case is already making your phone thicker so i don't think this is going to really bother you guys much and besides if you're using the battery pack you're not going to even see this adapter right here okay so um the good things about this case is that they've actually made this back plate slimmer and in fact curved slightly curved so when you hold it in your hand it's not going to like dig into your palm as compared with the previous version so i do like that touch uh, it makes the phone feel slightly slimmer and of course you can see right here the phone looks slightly bent uh, in fact it scared me i thought my phone was bent but in fact it's not it's just a case so when you do something like this it's easier to swipe from the right to the left very very easy super simple and uh, basically works 
Okay, so basically that's about it I can say for the good things. Uh, it just works uh, as advertised. I've never had any issues with this case. Even before I put the MagSafe uh, ring right here, the Mophie Snap ring. Um, MagSafe charging worked as advertised. So I didn't get any like uh, charging issues or something like that. Except when it comes to, of course, the accessories. When you use it on this case without the MagSafe ring, it doesn't hold on that well because of the thickness of the back plate. So yeah, uh, if you guys are using skins on the back of your device, I uh, highly recommend that you do take it off. Okay, so now uh, after all the good things that's been said, uh, moving on to the things I don't like, the issues which I've had in fact. So okay, this uh, fine screen protector sometimes interferes with the proximity sensor. So if you're making a phone call, sometimes it just bugs out. The front screen just uh, detects that something on top of the screen and start to flicker the screen like on and off, on and off. And I tried to solve that with a restart, but it still didn't seem to work. But however, 90% of the time it works fine. Just that couple of times which I tried, I made a phone call, the screen started to flicker on and off. I'm not sure why. Uh, but I suspect it's because of uh, the screen protector. So I guess I had a little bit dirt on the screen protector and it started interfering with the, the proximity sensor. So that's the only issue which I've had. Besides the, of course, if you're using a waterproof case, you're going to accept that it's going to be slightly muffled. Um, yes, it is muffled. It's not muffled to the point where you actually have to strain your ears. You still can hear it pretty clear in terms of the mids and highs, especially the highs. But in terms of bass, yeah, you're definitely not going to get it from this case. Because the bass all resonates to the back, which is to be expected. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but if you use AirPods with this case, you're not going to have any worries. So most of the time I use AirPods, so yeah, not a problem for me, but it's when I actually play music from my device directly, that's when I find it's muffled. Um, other than that, I do not have much complaints except for the finishing this time around. Uh, I don't know what wrong with the uh, QC at least uh, I just find that the rubber portion of this case is not that secure I'm not sure whether you can see this but there's a slight lip right here my new you can see right here I'm actually digging it out for you uh, dust can actually get trapped in here and that is not the end of my worries is that I worry that this part is gonna peel off uh, because of the overlapping of the rubber on the plastic and if you start rubbing it and it ages over time, the rubber is going to start expanding in the heat. And this thing is just going to peel open. Just the same thing that happened with the Life Proof 3 on the iPhone 11, which I had. It started just expanding and just basically the case is not waterproof anymore. Um, but anyways, I'm not sure because I just had this case for like two weeks, I guess. A week or so, roughly. And uh, that's the grab which I have. I'm not sure whether I can actually claim warranty, but I believe this is just like the manufacturing of this case. So the previous version did not have this issue. They had like seamless edges, but this has like a small lip, which I'm not really a big fan of. Uh, on the back here, if you can see, this is like not really, it's like unfinished business. Uh, it's has like a small lip, which shouldn't be there. Because if the lip is there, it catches the dust and it starts going into all the grooves in the seal. And then when you open it, yeah, you get like a load of dust in your device. So that's the only thing which I do not like. But if you're going to keep your device in the case until the day you sell it off or until the case breaks, uh, then you're not going to have any issue. But for me, I review cases, so I do change a lot of cases uh, as time goes by. So yeah, that's a concern for me. And also... Uh, you can see right here, it's covered by this film. I wouldn't say it's like the sturdiest thing in the world. Uh, but so far, even with the 12 Pro version, I did not have any issues. Except when it came to the positioning of this uh, gasket right here. Yeah, it somehow started to leak water. I'm not sure why, but um, I position it back. And once in a while, it starts to leak. Once in a while, it doesn't leak. So I'm not sure what's going on with that case. But anyways, uh, I guess I open it too often as well. So yeah, you're not recommended to open this case too often because the clips will actually get worn out. So yeah, um, basically I think that's about it I have to say for this case. This case is very very similar to the 12 Pro. So if you see my video on the 12 Pro version, it's basically the same thing. Except this uh, needs more refinement. I prefer the 12 Pro version or the 12 series. Uh, it, it was much better in terms overall. But I do like the 
the things they have cut here to actually make it slightly thinner and nicer in the hand in terms of feel. Of course, it's still going to be boxy because the iPhone itself is boxy and in this case is of course boxy. But uh, yeah, overall, I can still recommend this case. I think it's the best waterproof case on the market, hands down. Uh, I cannot find any more waterproof cases that can beat this case. Of course, price-wise, it is still more expensive. But in terms of what you're getting, the value for money, definitely go with this waterproof case. Okay, so that concludes my video. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to your channel for more content just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.